Hey, it's time for Bronies React. Ladies and gentlemen, AC Race Best here with another Bronies React season. Who am I kidding? This is an MA Larson week. So, Artie, what's on today's agenda? Uh, well, I think uh, Michelle Kreber and Black Griffin just released a new album, so I mean, we could listen to that. I actually already kind of did that. Oh, yeah? Well, what did you think of it? Well, eh, it was actually pretty good. Huh, okay. Oh, damn. What's up? I forgot, we got that React to do. Oh, yeah, that React. The one that AC Race has sent us about, uh, mid-episode. Mid-season bullshit, yeah. Yeah, royal problem. Ladies and gentlemen, AC Race Best here. No. Can we just do death instead? Nah, I already used the last toaster. Wait, what? What? Ladies and gentlemen, AC Race Best. No. Hello, everyone. I'm a little shy if I am. Is it time to react to another Equestria Girls already? No, an episode. Did I miss the season premiere or something? This must be a really big episode for us to be reacting mid season. Let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, AC Race Best. And no. Her cat's purring as loud as she can. I don't have, really have an intro. So have a fidget spinner. Ladies and gentlemen, AC Race Best here, and I have to work in here. All right, my little pony, friendship is magic. Entertain me. Nice. Ladies and gentlemen, AC Race Best here with another Bronies React. I look just like you. Ladies and gentlemen, AC Race Best here bringing you a Bronies React that is not for a premiere and not for a finale. We haven't done a lot of episode reacts that weren't bookending one side of a season. However, this episode was one that a lot of people, A, caught before it ever released in the US, and therefore B, were notifying me, race, you have to react to this. I got so many messages about this one, I'm like, there's no way we can't. What's really cool <laughs> is that I also haven't been spoiled on anything, so I haven't, uh, I don't know what's about to happen in this episode. All I know is it's called what, royal? A royal problem. A royal problem. So, we're gonna see what's gonna happen here. Bronies react to a episode special here, ladies and gentlemen. It is, in fact, time for a royal par- Parley. Parsley. 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 Ah, what are you two doing? I swear, it's not what it looks like. Whoa, uh, Jesus, what happened to your voice? <laughs> All right, you two, I hope you get along, because it would be incredibly inconvenient for me and my house if you didn't. You're a faggot. You shut your mouth. Oh, it's a Starlight Glimmer episode. If you listen carefully, you can hear her critics crying in the distance. My Jimmy's are Russell! <laughs> so this episode opens with Twilight having a stroke. I know! I can't believe it either! Starlight's definitely taking over the main sexist jobs at this point. The least she could do is act a little less smug about it. The map has never called me before! Oh, it's called you many things, Starlight. We're just not allowed to say you're on a PG show. The map's sitting there like, oh, wrong number. The map has called me before. I don't know why he keeps calling me. It's really, really frustrating. I keep having to change my number and... So is the map alive or what? Is it sentient? Why is it in charge? Why is it choosing the adventure? I really hope it's not him. Hello? I'm the map. How do you keep finding my number? I'm sure that's not why she looks like that. 
Botox. The royal palace? I mean, what an equestria could be going on there? Civil War? Oh, God, we could only hope. Well, let's see here. We've had Chaos Spirits Breaking Free, Changeling Invasions, Abductive Shrubbery. The map just called you for a reason, right? <laughs> Though maybe it's a mistake. What if your mistake? No, oh, Twilight, I was adopted. <laughs> you know, Dusty once said that Saber Spark was a mistake. And I just chipped my tooth. <laughs> Not because of you, because it's never called just one of us before. Oh, Twilight, is the map dissing you? Do I sense some jealousy going on? It's saying one star like Glimmer is worth two main six. Probably not. Twilight's perfect. Woo 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 Starlight, you're not supposed to be getting called to places, you're not a main character. Unless <gasps> I'm being replaced. Oh no, oh no! I also wasn't nervous before, but now... You're triggering Starlight's anxiety, Twilight! Stop doing it! I'm liking the face symbols, though. There's always new face symbols. I like it. Well, don't worry. For all we know, it's something small. Like Fireteam Harmony's penis. They're a collective group of people. How, they can, how can they have one penis? <laughs> Pound it. How can, they Pound have, it. how can they have one penis? Like maybe the cooks are fighting over who has the best butternut squash soup. Or the royal hairdressers are fighting over a comb. Hey. Don't diss a hairdresser argument. Those things are bloody. I remember. Oh yes. I remember the great stylist argument of 18 Dickety 2. It was like the Hunger Games meets Sweeney Todd. Every night I wake up screaming. Luna and Celestia would never fight. And if they did, they'd want me to help out because I'm the most important, right? I'm the favorite student, I'm the favorite student, I'm the favorite student, I'm the favorite student. <laughs> yeah, like that last time they fought. World Star. Again. I was worried for a second Twilight forgot the plot of the literal first episode of this series. I wonder what that feels like, a little butt tattoo vibrating. <laughs> That's not a vibrator, people. It's an electric razor. <laughs> My vibrator's in the other room. Meanwhile, in the back cave. Well, there's nothing wrong here, right, sister? No, everything's perfect as usual, sister. You know damn well what your problem is, but I guess I'll have to spend the next 20 to 25 minutes figuring it out for y'all so I can get a little friendship nugget, okay? I can tell everything's perfect by your scowl. Oh, that is the look of doom. Yeah, everything's fine, except someone keeps forgetting to put down the toilet seat. Well, Luna said it was perfect as usual, so I guess there is no problem. You can go home now, Starlight. Go terrorize another village. So are we not going to consult the cooks and hairdressers? We're just gonna leave them in the wind? Hmm. Typical. Celestia's been alive for over a thousand years and she still can't tell when her sister's being passive aggressive. That's because she doesn't have a shred of passive aggressivity in her beautiful body. My little pony, my little pony. My little pony, my little pony. Any intro that's not the Gravity Falls intro gets skipped. You know, if this show was like an anime, we'd have like 20 different intros by now. My little pony, my little pony. Somebody once told me the web was gonna roll me. I ate the shopping tool in the shit. She was looking at it up with a finger and a thumb in the shape of an L on the forehead. While well, he is not coming, they don't say I'm coming. I fit to the rules. I hit the ground and didn't make sense. I'm a little fun. If your brain gets my head gets come. There's so much to do, so much to see, so much to worry about. Taking the back streets. It's, uh, you never know if you don't go. You never shine if you don't glow. Hey, now you're an all-star game. game. I'll go play. Hey, now you're a rock star. Get the show and get paid. All that glimmer is gone. Uh, only shooting stars will break the mold. Yes! 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 Do you know you're on my Wait, you know what? That's it! Luna's just bitter that it took her four seasons to get into the title sequence. Psst. Psst. Oh, watch out, Starlight. The walls have ears. And lips, apparently, so they can go Psst. Wanna buy some drugs? Twilight? Ah! I want one. It's so cute. Aw, she looks cute. Okay, that's actually kind of cute. 
I mean, yeah, in a creepy, stalkery kind of way. Is that you? How are you here? It's an easy spell. I'll show you later. Well, gotta add that one to the list. Projecting oneself into inanimate objects. OP Unicorn spell number 507. Yeah, that's an easy spell. It's an easy spell. You wouldn't believe the things I've turned myself into. She can possess inanimate objects. I had to check on you, not in a meddling kind of way, in a friendly how's it going kind of way. So, how's it going? Go away, Twilight! Look at me, I'm still relevant! Way to show faith in the map, Twilight. You know, I'm sure the god tree of this world is very disappointed in you. You know how some ponies say nothing's wrong, but you can tell something's definitely wrong? No! No! <laughs> yes! They did it more, you know, regally. Oh, Twilight, you're getting dissed again. Starlight says they're regal. You're not. Oh, I wish I could help you, but I can't. Both for map reasons and because I have no idea. Again, why are they just blindly following the map? Does, is anybody questioning what the map is? This is big! Like, really big! No, Twilight, you're just really small. But I'm here if you ever need to talk or listen to music. <laughs> But I'm here if you ever need to talk. Or need a panic attack. <laughs> Comforting, right? It's really cute. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Every little berry is animated here. And that attention to detail is great. It looks like a pony face. So you can imagine you're eating a pony when you're eating the pancakes. <laughs> Not that I've ever done that. <laughs> That's normal. I can't believe you cook it yourself. Of course, Starlight. <laughs> of course, Starlight. No one can be trusted. I have to cook everything. Everything. The princess has decided to cook all of the food themselves ever since the third food tester died. Celestia, you should know that that's bad for your figure. Actually, my magic- What did I say? It's a small way to say, I care. It's poison, isn't it? Is that like Celestia's campaign slogan? She makes breakfast because she cares. Join us? Too tired. Oh, snap. I ain't even had coffee, all right? Shut up. I'm the same way like Luna is there. I've had mornings like that. Luna just bit into a pineapple. That's very difficult. Too tired. I have pen. I have pineapple. Oh. No. No. I have no pineapple. We're not doing that song. It's dead. Last night must have been really hard on her. Don't make a sex joke. She is like this every morning. You ever think to just ask her if she wants pancakes in the morning instead of just making them and throwing them away? Hmm? Oh, well, there's your problem, Celestia. Luna is clearly a waffle fan. And yet you scrap her food every morning? Some poor fool in the streets of Manhattan could have eaten that. You know, you could have given those pancakes to one of the guards or something. She made a pancake before the Easter. That's good. I mean, that means it's Easter and her gonna get along at the end of the episode. Okay, so I don't get Celestia's problem here. She's upset at Luna for being tired after working her night job. Uh, you know, come on. It's like, Celestia, why are you so tired after a long day at work? Why are you so sleepy at night? Doesn't work. It's not fair. That's so sweet that she makes her sister pancakes every morning. She's your mentor. I think you might be biased. Fair enough. Don't worry, Twilight. So is half the fandom. Twilight Sparkle, fair and balanced. But I thought she was liberal, at least according to her Twitter account anyways. Again, Starlight, you're growing on me. I have to get all the facts. She uses creatine in her pants at night. All the facts. Okay, let's start with uh, why the sky is blue. The sky is blue because of something called Rayleigh scattering, where the small molecules scatter the shorter uh, frequency wavelengths of light, and the blues and the purples, they get scattered all around the sky, and then the longer wavelengths, they make it all the way down here. Okay, uh, the sea is blue for the same reason, by the way, so we got two facts covered right there. At this rate, we will have all the facts covered by uh, September of 2058. Princess Luna's waiting for you, miss. But first, we gotta stop by the corner market. Mama's gotta buy another pack of death sticks. Good luck, Starlight! <laughs> what the fuck? Ooh, horsey noises! We got horsey noises! I like them horsey noises! 
The sad thing is, I'm pretty sure that's the least weird thing that happens in that castle. I was going to make an I could hear you joke, but then they did it themselves, so never mind. You do this every night? Only after they took my quiet away. Lavender's calming scent is known to aid dreamers in achieving a restorative sleep. And she wrote a book all about it. She'd love to sell you. Cover oneself in lavender before bedtime. Oh, yes. Smell the lavender, Starlight! Wow, they smell nice. They also feel like a boy. Touring! More like boring! <laughs> oh my fucking god, that voice! <laughs> that mouth! Oh, that is, that is, a uh, that is something. Oh, 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 that's so funny! Tell us another one of your singers, Abigail! Oh, oh, oh. And then I said, kill her, I hardly know her! Oh. <laughs> that's a murder, dear, that's for the cousins! You really are a card. Literally, she's a card. I think I have it in my collection. As always, my sister is too busy having fun with dignitary ponies to acknowledge anything I do. Ugh, fun! Okay, you said fun and dignitary ponies. They do not go together. Now when you say fun, do you mean like the bound? Or are you just talking about listening to them all day? Neither of those sound fun. They're Celestia and Luna, so it's not like you can just confront them. Actually, that's exactly what I was gonna do. Oh yeah, fight the power! Dang it, Starlight, I know you're new here and all, but you gotta play by the rules. No, don't give her advice! There's a reason the map called Glimmer Glamour Smoking Star. Because you are too passive aggressive. At least Glim Glam is good at being direct. Hence the enslavement of an entire town and country van. By Chrysler. The new Chrysler Town and Country. What? Are you crazy? Yeah, that's like going up to God and Satan and saying you're both doing it wrong. No, wait, did I just compare Luna to Satan? Shit. I didn't mean that. I mean... When you say I mean in the pony world, it actually acts as like a magic eraser. The last time the princesses fought, Luna turned into Nightmare Moon, and Princess Celestia had to banish her for a thousand years. Well, she didn't have to, it just was a convenient option. Well, I can't do nothing. Hey, double negative. Except in the ways that you can do nothing. Cause that usually is how Celestia sorts her problems out. Yeah, it's true. The princesses aren't the best at communicating with each other. <gasps> Blasphemy. Blasphemy! So, okay, all right, I'm, I'm gonna go on a small rant here. I would think after living for that long that you would have such a level of understanding and benevolence about you that you would never have problems with communication. At least not with someone who's equally as old and who's been living with you FOREVER! But I could be wrong, because I'm not a thousand years old. I'm 500 years old. You said princesses and aren't the best in the same sentence, and it's making me nervous! Okay, Twilight, you get to be in the actual show. Could you leave the overreacting to us? I mean, come on, we gotta have something here. Too bad that didn't kill me. I'm not much help, am I? No. <laughs> I like how firm Starlight said no there. Like, no. Wow, I almost feel bad eating this. It's adorable. Oh, it's okay. Adorable ponies are a lot more delicious. I, I, I mean, uh, uh, appreciative. Good purple horse, eat me. Kill the adorable pancake. I said almost feel bad. I will devour its face while it is still alive, all right? <laughs> all right. Uh, Celestia made pineapple pancakes this time because Luna ate the pineapple the day before. So that made her think, oh, she maybe she wants pineapple. Hi. Ooh, I bet that had real appeal. <laughs> Luna found a loophole to the age-old question, do you like mm, bananas? And now she eats a banana peel? What is her diet like? Well, you know, sometimes I almost forget that they're a horse, and then they do shit like that. Well, that's definitely a horse. Oh yeah, they're horses! How many of the other reactors are actually doing this? I don't see a problem here. <laughs> Oh, that tastes horrible. Oh my gosh! The princess of the night has some issues. Wait! Maybe she just hasn't gotten sleep in a couple thousand years. That could be why she looks like she's about to murder somebody. I'm fine! 
As you both know. Okay, writers out there, please never ever start a sentence with, as you know, because that's basically holding up a big old sign that says, this is exposition. What is it? You two. Excuse I me. your pardon? Get the fuck out. We will bury you. <laughs> wow, Celestia's voice just changed right there. We're princesses. <laughs> We're perfect. Now off to the dungeon with you again. You're both PMSing. Brave or dash, we are not telling those kind of jokes on this broadcast. Period. What did I say? I am Prince Fabulous. <laughs> Does it bother you that Luna never notices the wonderful breakfast that you prepare for her? Uh, yes. And Luna, don't does it ever upset you when Celestia doesn't appreciate the dead bird that you leave for her every morning? She hunted that bird for hours for you. Celestia's having some awesome expressions this episode. What? I'm fed. Tell Celestia how you feel. Wait, is she hosting an intervention? I'm sorry, I oh, never noticed bitch. that you made Get out the way. Get out the way, bitch. Get out the way. Oh. One side, peasant. You might be a morning pony, but I am half asleep. That's how I feel every day. I mean, I am recording this at 2 a.m. You think I don't get tired? Yeah, she's getting tired with bullshit, Luna. Oh, Jerry, Jerry. Oh, I apologize for not noticing flowers in a wall sconce. Wow, Celestia, you bitch! Oh, oh Sarcastia. Even so, I still make an effort to smile. -la 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 like smiling is so hard. Like smiling so hard. See, I can do it too. You spend your evenings thrifting around giving ponies lovely dreams. Oh, it sounds just awful. Every night, putting on mascara and listening to Evanescence. So hard. Oh, bless you, Nicole Oliver. I feel like we should step back. Take a deep breath. Don't presume to know what it is like to govern the dream realm. Don't presume you know what it is like to govern the dream realm. One side again, peasant. We got a civil war to start here. Just hearing them argue is so great. I, I love this. This is really good so far. Enough! Freaky Friday! Starlight Glimmer OP. Oh! Turns out that Starlight's more powerful than both Celestia and Luna. I'm not surprised the pushovers. It's finally happened. They are intentionally calling our attention to the princess's rumps. How could you? Stop! Stop! Enough! There we go. I did it. I solved friendship. There! Now you'll know exactly what it's like to be each other. Off with her head! Starlight just destroyed Equestria. Just destroyed Equestria. I guess she would be able to do that. Which is why the map called her, because she has the power to take and switch cutie marks. I like this. I like seeing this come back into play. That's really neat. It's like, this is what you're good at, and nothing else. So finally, there's a reason for her existence. I'm kidding! Calm down, comment section! Jeez! I feel like Starlight really messed up. But I'm not upset. For too long now, YouTube has been about dumb, random, exciting jokes that make no sense, but they're funny because of the shock value. What happened to the days of old when it was situational comedy? You had to think about it before it was funny. You had to go, I like that situation. That makes me laugh. Instead of just random bullshit that doesn't make any sense. No longer. We should make a good intermission with a good joke. And wholesome <laughs> Oh god! They've broken loose! Oh my oh, god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! This needs to be explained by the government! I'm the chair! And no time for What have you done? My butt! I went with my gut. Kinda like dysentery. Stephen Colbert would be so proud of you. It's a killer. This spell lasts 24 hours. How inconvenient. It may have been extreme, but uh, I think it's still a good idea. That's me like doing anything in life. I really have no idea what I'm doing, but I'm pretty sure it's a good idea. What? <laughs> you know how thin that line is you tracing right now? Because <laughs> after this is done, you're gonna be dead. Well, I could use an easy day followed by a good night's sleep. 
You can try. I haven't had an easy day in well ever. Dang it, I thought I was finally gonna get to know how old she is. I haven't had an easy day in ever. Guess women don't like to admit their age. Celestia went from millennia old alicorn goddess to whiny 16 year old girl. Is it me or does Celestia sound like a valley girl when she complains? Maybe alicorns age backwards? Doesn't Luna get the crappy end of the stick here? Because she just finished her like night shift and now she has to go to the day shift. And Celestia just woke up and she gets to go back to sleep? All right, Starlight Glimmer, we will do this. I love the sister attitude. Good choice. Not that you had one. <laughs> More horse noises, they made more horse noises, yay. <laughs> <laughs> so many good expressions. You don't like hearing that, do you, princesso? I'm gonna stop talking now. So Starlight, would you like to be banished to the sun, the moon, or one of the stars? <laughs> the actual princess's cutie mark? Yes, mom. And what would have Twilight done in this situation? Like, if all the Starlight haters got their way and she wasn't the one sent by the map, what if, for example, Twilight did? What would she have done to resolve the situation, I wonder? <laughs> Are you okay in there? He's just up against the door the whole time just listening, like, Do you have any lozenges? Just, uh, reading an exciting book. <laughs> He's gonna think I'm nuts. He's not the only one. Twilight is on point for this episode. I think she's my favorite part so far. Or, since he hears two female voices and heavy breathing, he's gonna think you're doing algebra. Heavy breathing and an exciting book is not a good combo for a children's show. No, Starlight. They won't think you're nuts for this. They already think you're nuts. Because you drove an entire town into a dystopian mentality, forsaking their natural talents, all to satisfy your own ego. And then you plunged Equestria into multiple terrible futures where all hope seemed lost and only one pony knew the terrible despair that was brought upon the world. And then you brainwashed the greatest heroes of this land all to save your own ego once again. And you're into kites, which some people see as a weird sign, but honestly, people would just be so judgmental. <laughs> no Twilight get out of this episode. As you can see, Celestia and I are switching places today. Get off that throne, Starlight. No more enslaving ponies for you. Hi there, I've been convicted of a felony and served a thousand years in prison. I'd like to run your town for a day. Oh, 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 most unorthodox. <laughs> I assure you, I am more than capable of handling all of Celestia's <laughs> duties. <laughs> she <laughs> said duties. Just look at her face, she knows what she did. Oh, you know, whatever, we like Celestia better. She's nice. What is first on my dear sister's to-do list? At the usual. Gotta stop the apartheid government in Unicrane. Arrange for the disappearance of certain critics. And the civil war that's been brewing between our nations. Destabilize a foreign power. World peace. Have lunch. Stop world hunger. Ooh, maybe get a hoof cure. It says you have a few public appearances. Store openings, judging the royal rose contest, you know, that sort of thing. Please don't mind me. I was just enjoying this delightful comic from IDW. Her fake smile is worse than mine. They gave her the safety scissors as a joke. <laughs> Luna's hooves are sharper than a pair of scissors. Hmm. Come on, Luna. Put the pedal to the metal. This is how I feel in family photos. Yeah, that smile says I'm gonna kill the nearest warm body. Ha! <laughs> Natural state Luna ticked off. Princess Luna unhappy with student fundraiser? That is fake news. You are scowling. I, I didn't mean to. I've been smiling all day. My cheeks hurt. I stopped for one second, and that's when he took the picture. Oh, it's like my high school photo is all over again. Her cheeks hurt. Her butt cheek! Full Free Press is back to its old ways, I suppose. Wait, Full Free Press? That's Ponyville. It's sad to say, but this is an accurate representation of modern mass media. Even the show understands the bias media. Fake news, people. Fake news. It's tremendous. It's huge. It's horrible. I can't do a Trump. I want to so badly. Oh, sorry. I forgot to do reactions. I'm actually enjoying the show for a minute. 
That smile sequence reminds me of when I was a kid. My family took us kids, both me and my little sisters, to like one of those like Walmart photo centers. And I thought that I had to smile the whole time. And the session took, because like my little sisters were young, the session took about like 30 to 35 minutes. My face hurt so bad and I was in near tears, but I thought I had to hold my smile. And for some reason, nobody told me that I could like rest my smile. My picture looks so tortured. My smile, look at this. <laughs> I know your pain, Luna. Can't dwell on that now. According to the list. I uh, found an animation error. The list appears on the wrong side of the table. All right, sorry, wrong video. You need to dispel rumors of timber wolves in the Whitetail Woods. What if there are timber wolves in the Whitetail Woods? I'm pretty sure I saw one. Sad. Fake news about timber wolves is very sad. I'm crying on the inside. Whitetails in the timber wolf woods? No! No, no, no. Timber wolves in the Whitetail Woods. Oh. White wolves in the timber wolf woods. Exactly. Okay. Also, I love King Sombra. He's a fantastic ruler. Excellent golfer. Her hair stopped being wavy. What's with the physics? How do the physics work in their hair? Hello! Great news! There are no timber wolves! <laughs> <laughs> Finally, the Canterlot voice again. I actually got something relevant to this very recently. Take a look at this. C-SPAN would be a hell of a lot more interesting if they used the Royal Canterlot voice. Fact. I am gonna call my senator right now. So yeah, yeah, can you just like really project like, uh, you know, your voice can be heard on the other side of the country, just echo and make everyone tremble? Well, yeah, yeah, just like Princess Luna. Oh, oh, I didn't know you were a fan. No, wait, yeah, what, no, no, wait, what, no. No, God, no, what? Oh, screw you, Luna is best princess. You just lost my vote. Things indeed. Ready for the town hall? <sighs> There's a sign at Ramsit Park that says don't drink the sprinkler water, so I made some tea with it and now I have an infection. Seriously, is there a royal executioner? I feel like you need a little leverage here. Still on for golf. Unicorns are the only ponies who can play golf, right? I feel very well rested. You got to sleep in. Like, Luna just had to work after she just worked. Like, this is not fair. This is not a fair trade. But where's Luna? She's dead! Did she now? Did he now? Did he now? Did he now? It seems my duties were harder than my sister expected. <laughs> she said duties again. <laughs> her duties were harder than her sister expected. Moon raised. It's even easier than raising the sun! Why yes, over 400 times easier. Don't be so proud, you did that for a thousand years! Didn't you like raise the moon for like a thousand years when like she was trapped in the moon? So yeah, no, nah, whatever. So I wonder if the other hemisphere just lives in perpetual darkness. Like, here's the globe, the sun's here, the moon's here, and it just kind of goes like this. Which means like, the southern hemisphere, implying that they're not on the southern hemisphere already, is just in a state of darkness, you know, their crops are dead, they live underground, like a race of, like, rat pony people, you know, riders, trademark, don't you steal my idea? <sighs> oh no, she's no, dead! You're doing that joke once, oh, only sorry. once. Sorry. My list was three times as long. <laughs> yeah, but there's more involved in her list. You're talking to yourself, Celestia. But there's no pony else to talk to. <laughs> well, you know what they say, Celestia. Talking to yourself is the first sign of insanity. Something about this scene is familiar, but I can't quite put my finger on it. Cool, cool, cool! I see Venom started to take over. You've come oh, such a long, long, long way. way. Oh, sorry. Oh, cool! Which one's having the dirty dream? Which one's having the dirty dream? Okay, here's a question. Is Fluttershy really tiny or is Angel huge? And is that Cadence's dream or Flurry Hearts? Yo, what up? It's DJ Flurry Heart in the house! Oh my god, these dream circles are hysterical. Well, Discord, I'd say there's a deep suppressed memory within your psyche if you're having a pillow fight with the smooths 
inside the Golden Oaks Library. Freud would have a field day with you. Now to save some ponies from- Point Break Gummy! Rainbow Dash is having the wet dream. Whoa! Is that Applejack? That was a baby Applejack with Applejack's parents. That's interesting. Oh, Applejack. <laughs> now to save some ponies from their nightmares, which aren't real, so it shouldn't be too hard, right? This is an inception. If you die in the dream realm, you die in reality. Ooh, so Twilight's dreaming about Rainbow, or Rainbow's dreaming about Twilight? Put them together and you have shipping! You ain't coming back, man. No, Doctor, don't blink. That's the number one rule. Don't blink. Look at that. That's a weeping angel. We saw those statues. <laughs> they were actually cutouts of the statues in Seattle, Everfree Northwest 2013. Check out the vlogs. And I'm talking to myself again. Derpy has delusions of grandeur. That was Derpy with the Twilight cane. That's fan service if I've ever seen it. Oh. Her eyes are straight. Oh, she's I think it's oddly appropriate for an episode depicting the princesses as bickering children to include a glimpse of Equestria's truly superior ruler. I can, I can, I can, I can. This is why waffles are better than pancakes. She cares. Celestia 2020. No! Oh, come on, Starlight. You look lovely in a tutu. This is big! Like, really big! Whoa! Going with my gut was the wrong call! Don't let Stephen Colbert hear you say that. But I've only driven you apart! You have driven them apart! Starlight Glimmer. I am back! <laughs> oh shit, season one villain! The bad penny of My Little Pony villains. I know how to handle Nightmare Moon. Yes! But can you handle... Who's that Pokemon? Aloha Akbar. Whoa, this is like something right out of fan fiction, except not terrible. <laughs> she gon' die. You can absolutely turn into me, Daybreaker. Days are face! Bullshit! Daybreaker, yeah! I feel like every time she says that, we need a guitar riff. It's one of these, I swear. All right, so I gotta be honest, that's actually a really cool name and a really cool design as well. But it like, <laughs> seems that every single character on this show has like a Super Saiyan form or something. Like I wanna see what Granny Smith looks like when she's really pissed off and she unlocks her anger and becomes like Mega Ultra Granny Smith, trademarked. Don't steal that either, writers. Oh, I'm so torn. I mean, on the one hand, but on the other, but over here, and over yeah. Please don't make me choose. I don't, I, I don't remember what, which one it is, but I have this card. Daybreaker is just reminding me of Dayman from Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Dayman and Nightman. Dayman. 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 Oh. Dayman. Fight to all the Nightman. Oh. Ah! Aha! There it is. Nightmare Star. Look, it, her name is Nightmare Star. It's it's not a d d daybreaker. Luna has her evil side. Celestia's got to have an evil side too. If Luna can turn into Nightmare Moon, I can turn into Betty Spaghetti. The better, prettier, and more powerful version of you. I like how we're getting to hear Celestia in a different tone here. It's pretty awesome. No, I'll never turn into you. I'll reveal your true form. Is this happening in Celestia's mind or Starlight's? Uh, I never understood Inception. Deep inside, you know how powerful you are. You don't need Luna. Search your feelings. You know it to be true. That's not true. That's impossible. All you have to do is get rid of any pony who stands in your way. Or any pony who sits in your way. Right. Or lies down in the middle of the road in your way. Just anybody that's kind of in front of you, really. I bet Nicole Oliver had a blast doing this. And yes, that was a pun. I never should have banished you to the moon. I should have destroyed you! See, they can't say killed. Is that code for kill in TVY or what? But that's what she meant. 
Jesus, that's pretty dark. But you know, this pony, he's a bit too bright to be saying things like that. Day, night, sun, moon. Pokemon needs its titles. West, left, right, up, down, sideways, left ways, upwards, downwards. Day, night, sun, moon, fourth meal at Taco Bell. Equestria needs you. <laughs> It's a pony demolition derby. Oh god, here they go. They're oh they're fighting. Oh no, god, my house is gonna be in ruins by the end of this. So when do we get to see that character fight the main eight? Six, no, seven. Who needs balance when you can have it all? I have it all and I'm totally emotionally imbalanced. <laughs> Unless you plan on smiling me to smithereens! But like you're smiling too right now. You're both smiling. Kind of like the evil, happy smile type thing. But this is a really cool battle. It's an ongoing gag, Sarah. You wouldn't understand. Ugh, so much black. We get it, you're sad. <laughs> that is racist, sunshiner. Sad. Nightmare Moon is very sad. That's hilarious. Oh my god, that's literally what I want to say to like every Derpy Burrow OC. Yeah. We get it, your favorite band is Evanescence. You could really use some sun! Now Equestria is doomed! Doom! Come on, I wanted to see a Neo versus Mr. Smith moment with the Mr. Anderson! <laughs> Snap, we got children of the corn up in here. That obviously doesn't rhyme. What the hell, kids? I made you eat your parents. Holy fuck, these kids are serious. Way to rhyme. That didn't rhyme. Maybe next time. The fact that that didn't rhyme in any way is hilarious to me. Why don't you want us to go on our field trip? I don't... <laughs> The Tooth Fairy is real in Equestria, problem solved. Ah, ah, her teeth, ah, no. Ugh. Ugh, this scene with the teeth is too real for me. Like, I have this nightmare every couple of weeks where your teeth fall out of your mouth and you think, oh no, it's they're gone, they're not, they're not gonna grow back. I do! <laughs> oh my god, dude. There's literally like four different fillies in that, in that image. Yeah. Like, oh, they copy pasted it. Yeah, way to reuse assets there. Celestia. You guys realize that the direction they gave Tabitha here is read your lines like you're losing your teeth. This is one of my favorite comics, but this is also really good. Tabitha wrote a script <clears throat> where something like this happened. Luna cracked a tooth, and then she had a lift. I wonder, where did we read that one? <clears throat> anyway, this is neat. This is like <clears throat> homage to that, I think. Maybe a little bit. Tabitha's scripts are amazing, by the way. If you guys haven't seen them, come to a convention. Watch us read one of Tabitha's scripts, because she's brilliant, and she should be writing for the show. Seriously. What did you do? Ponies with freaking laser. <coughs> Bananas still <coughs> stuck in my <coughs> trachea. So if they die in their dream, do they like die in real life as well? Like, a la the Matrix or whatever? It's Starlight Glimmers. She's afraid this is what would happen if we continue to fight. Aha, so it is in, her, in Starlight's mind. That's mm, telling. I'm never going with my gut again. But Starlight, we can't get rid of your one character trait. I got my appendix removed. 
I like how even in her nightmare, Starlight's magic is good enough to just shrug off an alicorn's laser like she's the god of magic or whatever. If you don't fix this soon, it could have a grave consequence on Starlight's psyche. Is that a word little kids know these days? You're potentially going to give Starlight PTSD from her dream. That's really messed up. Oh yeah, you do not want to mess with that house of matches. Your job is so incredibly hard. Yes, your duty is incredibly hard. <laughs> I, why do I keep going back to duty? It takes such a brave, strong pony to do what you do. Actually, we're gonna find out that this whole deal was Luna dreaming about Celestia coming to this realization. Luna's gonna be up there in the morning like, it was easy. I thought all you had to do was smile and be adored all the time, but I was wrong. There is so much more to it than that. Sometimes they ask if you want mayo in your sandwich and you're like, nah, do you have mustard? They're like, nah, mustard machine broke. So then you're like, damn it, I can't deal with all this pressure. Friendship. <laughs> this episode is just a cavalcade of silly noises. They just, ah, 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 ah. I wish I could just sit there and watch Nicole Oliver and uh, Tabitha St. Germain record this episode and just for half an hour just be like ah, ah, <laughs> I like the cackle. It's definitely an eight. Whoa, lay off the pyrotechnic, Celestia. I mean, Daybreaker. <laughs> there is a lot of fire effects in this episode. That's actually pretty cool. I wonder if that like increased the animation budget or something. In order to defeat Daybreaker. How did you know that was Daybreaker? <clears throat> because you weren't in the dream when she introduced herself. You can't destroy me! You can't beat me! I've got a better ship! And I have a cooler design! And you will never exist again! Never exist again. Does that mean she exists in this dream? Or did she actually exist at one point? But can she exist again? Can she come back? I would like that. That'd be pretty cool. Okay, so Alicorn wings can block magical blasts. Huh. So I'll add that to the list as well. I swear, how do they keep getting kidnapped when they have all these awesome abilities? Oh no, she is dead. Woo! Wait, no! I don't want to die. This is really intense for just a. Uh, oh, it's the tenth episode of the season. Damn! Well, that was kind of anticlimactic. They just kind of went. Ah. Uh, Go, go, oh! All right, they're they're dead now. Oh, please say that character's coming back. That was that was too fun. I liked it. So, um, did you talk to yourself? Um, a little. Luna, that's like question twelve. That keep 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 just come on. This really happening, or is this still a dream? You'll never know. Why don't you spin a top and find out? I know you had a long night, so I made you some pancakes. Oh, <laughs> that's cute. I put pineapples and banana peels in it. That is the pancake face of death. <clears throat> they are delicious. <laughs> These pancakes taste like dirt. Lie to each other. That's the basis of a healthy relationship. Let's not be honest about how we really feel. Celeste, you don't you know that bottling up your emotions is what got you here in the first place? I do what I you want! You get out of here! <laughs> I know that face. That's the face of you realizing that these are the pancakes you threw out two days ago. <laughs> <laughs> these suck shit. I know you have to be perfect for every pony else. And you do an amazing job. But you don't have to do it for me. But the whole reason you had issues to begin with is because she wasn't being perfect for you. Man, I'm glad I'm not a princess. Right? They are terrible. Fuck you! Nah, no matter how bad the food is, you do not say that. If I said that to my girlfriend with her cooking, I'd be sleeping right here tonight. I love you, sister. I love you, too. Ha <laughs> ha, you guys love each other. Then they kiss. So, this was real. Oh, or was it? Just a fantasy. Caught in, in a landslide. Land. No escape from reality. Oh, hold on, hold on. We're taking Black Griffin's shtick, and it's not polite to take other people's bits. Especially when they work really hard on them, you know? Yeah. And this just happened now, and, and not in my dream? I'm so confused. You can't describe the Matrix. 
You can only experience it. It was the right call, going with your gut. Unlike the last time where you brainwashed everybody. I'm just saying. Hello, Dr. Prevost? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna need those intestines back. What? All right, fine, pig intestines, whatever. The map was wise to send you Starlight. Map! So bold. Bold and spicy, with a little bit of tang at the aftertaste. With just a bit of wasabi, it kind of brings these flavors. Oh, sorry. I find it a hilarious thought that, like, if the map didn't call Starlight to this location to fix this problem, that the, the uh, Luna would probably become Nightmare Moon and Celestia would probably become Daybreaker. And... Ah, oh, damn it, I wish we got that now, because that could have been an episode. Wait, I'm not doing this. Oh, Beauty and the Beast! Tale as old as... Tale? I'm not doing this. The spell was supposed to be 24 hours long, but it's only been 23 hours and 47 minutes. It's inaccurate! I can't wait to tell Twilight! I already know! Stalker! Stranger danger! Go away! Wow, Twilight, you friggin' paranoid pony. I really didn't want to do an alliteration there, but I did anyway. Paranoid pony, what the hell. Okay, no, I do not believe that she can teleport from Ponyville to Canterlot just like that. My guess is she was camping out at Donut Joe's all night long. I just got here to bring you your toothbrush! That's one gnarly toothbrush. Oh, it's Spikes, isn't it? Why does her toothbrush look a lot like Spikes' tail? You know what, I'm, no. No, I'm not gonna read into it. So, so proud of you! Tell me everything! Start from after I hyperventilated and don't leave out any details! Um, which hyperventilation? This episode ends with Twilight having a stroke. Perfect. Oh, uh, by the way, there's a field trip you need to make happen and a <clears throat> timber wolf issue you need to address. What? Oh, look, there's the sun. Time for me to turn in. You son of a bitch! And thus the bonds of trust are broken once again. Well, I guess it does trade off fine because now Luna is going to sleep and Celestia has to stay up. So they both, like, slept for a day. Okay, that works, I guess. Then the city was destroyed because Celestia didn't have enough sleep before she went to work. The end. Well, that was a lot of fun. I, Despite my snark, I greatly enjoyed this episode. Uh, Nicole Oliver and Tabitha St. Germain did a fantastic job. Starlight like Glimmer is great. She, does, she is the only character who could make this work. And we finally got to see a little bit more of the princesses outside the public eye. This is their true selves, the vulnerabilities and the cracks. And it makes them more real, which I greatly enjoy. Just as I enjoy commenting on it. But seriously, is no one gonna talk to the chefs or the hairdressers? They're so neglected! Season 7 has been like one of the greatest resurgences of of MLP as far as like throughout throughout the seven seasons we've had. It, it was good, it was good, it was good. And you know, they were they were still pretty good. And then I felt like season six was our low point, but holy crap, has season seven been a new level of height that we're hitting with this? I feel like they're finally exploring certain, you know, storylines. It's like, why did it take us so long to have this kind of episode? But it was good. It was so good. Uh, Sarah, what did you think of it? It's good. That's much better than the peel. I see the appeal. <coughs> oh my gosh! <coughs> I just lose some <coughs> something. <coughs> you can't breathe <coughs> bananas. <coughs> now I understand why we breathe oxygen. <coughs> I'm okay. I'm okay. Thanks for nothing, Jeff. You should have offered to give me the hind leg maneuver. 